2018, 23 minutes after 7 o'clock. Good morning. Thank you for tuning your radio to WOCA, The Source. This show you're listening to is called AM Ocala Live because we're on every AM here in Ocala and we are live. It is 70 degrees here at the studios at the Paddock Mall just outside the WOCA Commissary where you too can get an egg roll. Today, there's an 86% chance it'll rain. Tomorrow, there's an 84% chance of the rain. Wednesday, there's an 88% chance of the rain. You get the picture? Thursday, 93% chance of the rain. Friday, an 88% chance of the rain. There is rain, rain, and more rain in this week's forecast. Today's temperatures are expected to climb to 75. Tonight, down to 70. And tomorrow, a little bit warmer and staying around the 80-degree mark pretty much the whole week with rain, rain, and more rain. And it really... If if you want me to kind of tell you the the kind of the little bit of the details here, it looks like the rain is mostly in the afternoon. Hmm, that sounds familiar. That is exactly the pattern I remember years ago when uh, when Florida was still young and 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 uh, and Mickey Mouse had small ears. Uh, good morning. We've have we have a show to do for you. Good morning, Robin. How are you over there? Oh, mm-hmm. I'm really good. How are you, Larry? Good. We have good. a show. Seven thirty-five. We have news and we have our commentary. I want to uh, tell you a little bit about our visit to the aquarium down in, in uh, Tampa. That was fun, fun, and more fun. Yeah. Um, if you you gotta go, you got. I'm just telling you, you gotta go. It's just you nice. have to go. So affordable. It's wonderful. You may have gone. I don't know how long ago they changed it, but I haven't gone since probably. I would say 15 or 20 years. Yes. It's been a long time. Yep. But anyway, uh, we went and I want to share that with you. Um, anyway, so phone calls and news and everything else under the sun. Uh, today, uh, Jerusalem, I guess, becomes uh, a hot spot in the world as the United States Embassy moves to, from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Oh, my gosh. So that's a big news item today, too. Uh, 8 o'clock, 8.05, rather, Gail and you, Nold, will be on from Lifestyle Community Blood Center. There is a story of a gentleman who is considered the world's most prolific blood donor ever. Oh, my gosh. He gave his last donation this past Friday, and there were a few things in that story that um, I have questions about. So I thought what I would do is use the opportunity to share this news with Galen and at the same time get him to explain to us about the blood donation um, references in the story. Okay. There's a few things I, I didn't, you know, as much as we talked to Galen, I don't really know much about what Galen does. Okay. Or what blood donation is about. Other than just lay there, give blood, and, you, and you're done, right? And eat. You do get to eat, yes. I get to get a snack. <laughs> After we speak to Galen at 8.35, we will turn off any attempt to be entertaining, any opinions, and we'll just read the news. Now, we don't express opinions, but opinions do show up because that's just the way the news is written sometimes. So, yep. Uh, we can do that. Uh, 9.05, I have um, a, l- a little bit talking about, um, well, what was it again? I can't remember what it was. Uh, it's right over here somewhere. It's uh, hold on. I, I have think. my pen in hand. <laughs> oh, oh, the odd ways that people got in shape throughout history. Okay. People get nice. Shape. People have a way of getting in shape now. Mm-hmm. Well, in history, they had odd odd ways of doing it. So nice. I want to share that with you. Pastor R. C. Jones is coming in at nine twenty. She is a prophetess and a pastor. She represents the Hazon Ministries, and uh, she's coming in to um, do her program at nine twenty. And prophet, prophetize? Is that what you say? Prophesize. Prophesize. That's the word. Uh, Solange Ritchie is coming in at 935. Solange is an award-winning attorney, a researcher, an activist for women, and has mm-hmm. written a book called Firestorm. It's a Dr. Catherine Powers thriller novel. Yep. She wants to talk to us about dealing with the stress of hospitalization and death based on her true life account of her first husband dying due to gross medical negligence. Yeah, very, uh, uh, very sad. John Robles is the Marion County Director for the National, uh, for the Special Olympics of Mar- Florida. Marion County. 
Okay, Special Olympics, Florida, Marion County. Right, that's how it reads on his business card. <laughs> Coming in with Connie Chil- Chilemi. Uh, they're talking to us about the Special Olympics. He'll be in the studio. Um, Andy Steves is coming on later on, 11 to 5. He's a podcaster and a coffee schnob and an amateur <laughs> cyclist and, and the son of... Oh, Rick. Is it Rick Steves? I can't remember his father's name. Um, but uh, but Rick, the, his father does a show on WDOCA, well, as a, as a network show. He's not here. Oh, he does? Yeah. See, I didn't know that. So, oh, I can't remember his name now. Um, but it's a, it's a travel show, sort of, kind of. It's a mixture of travel and kind of commentary on, on the world. Oh, okay. Yep, Rick Steves, it says. That's it, Rick Steves. Here you go. Can't yep. remember his name. And, uh, and then if, if Joe comes in. I have a, a, a fun topic, and even if he doesn't come in, I still have a fun topic. Yes. We, we watched this movie, sort of, kind of, yeah, <laughs> yesterday called uh, The Born. Uh, don't tell me The Born um, um, dip, uh, Diplomacy. No, The Born Ultimatum. The Born Ultimatum. Yes. I know there's these Born movies with uh, Matt Damon are really, really popular, but I've never seen one. Mm-hmm. And I'm a dialogue fan. Yes. There's like no dialogue in this movie at all. <laughs> I was trying to imagine how long the script was, you know, maybe yeah. three, three pages. Mm-hmm. We got to get him. Yeah, get him. <laughs> we can't find him. Well, there he is. There he is. We can't find him. Oh, let's crash a car or two. <laughs> <laughs> Which went on for like eight minutes. <laughs> a lot of car crashing in this movie. It's just a lot. Anyway, so it was very, very popular, and so I, I looked up um, other movies, and, and I have the best movies that have little or no dialogue. Oh, nice. The best <laughs> movies of all time with little or no dialogue at all. <laughs> hey, and I don't mean silent films. These are not silent films. This is in the, in the era of, uh, of movies with sound. Okay. So that, that's a fun topic, I think, right? Like I fun. think it's very fun. All right. If it's uh, raining where you are, it's going to be raining where you are for about a week. But the good news is it's most likely in the afternoon, except for today. I think today is going to be all day. All right. We'll be right back. Fox News Radio. I'm Chris Foster. The American embassy in Israel moved from Tel Aviv to the contested city of Jerusalem today. Fox's David Lee Miller's there. The embassy is actually going to be relocating to an existing consular building. No timeline is in place when a new embassy will actually be built. The U.S. delegation includes President Trump's daughter, Ivanka, her husband and presidential advisor, Jared Kushner, and the Treasury Secretary, Steve Mnuchin. Thousands of Palestinians are protesting with at least seven now reported shot and killed by Israeli troops at the Gaza border. Lava and gas from another crack in a volcano in Hawaii has more people forced from their homes. Some other structure within the fields um, got burned and taken out, and so we're up to, I think, 37 structures at this point. That's Hawaii County Civil Defense Administrator Talmadge Magno. Fox News. We report. You decide. What is it, Linda? I think we should see other people. Are you breaking up with me on a roller coaster? Well, we do have a lot of fun. Maybe we should stay together. Ah! An emotional roller coaster? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much you could save by switching to GEICO. I just need a little me time. Ah! GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Posting your job opening to an online job search site is like drinking from a fire hose. You get more resumes than you know what to do with. Robert Half is the better way to hire. Our candidates are interviewed and custom matched to your exact hiring requirements. Quickly. Satisfaction guaranteed. So what you need is just what you'll get. Robert Half. The experts in accounting, finance, IT, legal, marketing, and administrative staffing. Learn more at roberthalf.com slash radio. Ad Council. Ocala Aviation now has opportunities for flight instructors. Wait, hold on. Brad, is this correct? You're looking for instructors, not students? Actually, we're looking for both. 
Well, that's descriptive. Well, I need flight instructors because we're now affiliated with a major university and can offer four-year degrees. Plus, we're also approved to work directly with VA students. Okay, so a degree in what and what's a VA student? Well, it's a bachelor's degree in aeronautics, which includes a commercial pilot's license, and there's financial aid available. By VA students, I mean veterans. They now have access to new benefits to pay for flight training. Okay, so you have new opportunities for new students. What about the instructor side of it? Well, with new students, we need more instructors. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So, if anyone out there is a flight instructor, I want to encourage them to come see me. And if they're not an instructor but have their commercial license, we can help them become an instructor. So they get their instructor license and have a job too. Exactly. So you got a lot going on. The VA, the college, and now hiring instructors and future instructors too. Yep. So now can we get the commercial started? Already ahead of you. Call Brad to get your adventure started today at Ocala Aviation. 861-7484. Here is your one-minute news brief from the source WOCA. The Marion County Sheriff's Office says that two drivers in Silver Spring Shores reported that someone fired a gun at their vehicles early yesterday. Neither victim sustained any injuries. Florida Governor Rick Scott is visiting Israel and will be on hand for the opening of the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem. Republican gubernatorial candidate Adam Putnam is rolling out details of his top priority if elected, which is a plan to boost vocational and technical education in middle and high schools. Putnam plans to make announcements in the Tampa area and Panama City today. Authorities say a Florida man has been charged with driving under the influence after crashing into a stopped and unmarked sheriff's vehicle. A special election to consider a proposed sales tax increase in Northeast Florida could cost voters as much as $1 million. And a power outage at Bush Gardens on Saturday was caused by a squirrel in the substation, according to Pico. And that is your news brief from The Source. The weather is brought to you by MyFWC.com. Safe boating is no accident. On Monday, some periods of rain heavy at times and a thunderstorm, a high of 76 to 80. Then Monday night, mostly cloudy with a couple of showers and a thunderstorm low 69 to 73. On Tuesday and Wednesday, looking cloudy with showers and heavier thunderstorms around. Those could bring some flooding and low-lying and poor drainage areas. The high both days, 82 to 85. From the Florida Weather Center, I'm meteorologist Evan Duffy. There are only a few things in life that you can be certain will always be around. Death, taxes, the pursuit of happiness, and computers. As they continue to advance at an epic pace, the one absolute certainty about them is that they'll break. It's not an if, it's a when. And when it happens, bring it to the only company in Ocala that's certified in Apple and Microsoft. Ocala Mac and PC Repair. They even offer on-site computer repair service, so they come to you. And if you do drop it off, you can check your repair status online. Ocala Mac and PC Repair is a family-owned and operated company that can do everything from mobile repair to wireless networks, fixing viruses, data recovery, even building and installing new systems. Visit online at OcalaMacPC.com. In person, 1713 East Silver Springs Boulevard. Or give them a call, 352-566-8324. That's 352-566-8324. Ocala Mac and PC Repair. Broadway's mega hit Mamma Mia is live on stage at Ocala Civic Theater May 17th through June 17th. All the favorites like Dancing Queen, Super Trooper, and Mamma Mia are all part of the fun musical about what happens when you surprise your mom by inviting all three men who might be your dad to your wedding. On sale now. 352-236-2274 or buy online at ocalacivictheater.com. You are ready to buy that house that fits your needs, but how do you find it? Easy. Call Angie at 352-361-8359. Angie gets with you to get that information you need to buy that house. Angie is more than just an agent with Roberts Real Estate. She's a pro with heart. So you call her at 352-361-8359, and you will know you have the right person. I'm Angie Umpleby, and I'm looking forward to working with you when you call me at 352-361-8359. That's 352-361-8359. All right. Thank you. 24 24- minutes before eight o'clock hope you're doing well good morning again robin good morning larry um we have news and the phone lines are open and we'll offer commentary but first i just want to tell you i I had a really good day on saturday with you and your family robin uh, the day before mother's day Mm -hmm. and we went to the florida aquarium in tampa and uh for those of you who've never been uh you gotta go let me tell you something you gotta go it's so awesome it is amazing. I mean, it's, it's, I, I equated it to a, smi- a small, a mini <laughs> uh, theme park. It's like a miniature theme park. 
You know, you can take as long as you want to get through the thing. I don't know. Maybe we were in there for three hours, you think? I think so. Yeah, yeah. So, anyway, I mean, you, you know, you... At least three hours. The one, the one thing I don't have, although there, there is a, there's an asterisk next to this, and I'll explain that. There are no dolphins there. Mm-hmm. The asterisk is um, they have a boat. Uh, what is that, a pontoon boat, I guess? I so, don't know what kind of, kind of boat. boat it is. Some kind of a boat that will take you out to sea dolphins in their natural habitat mm-hmm. out in the in the ocean no we saw a boat that day we in the were gulf, on, i mean in the gulf we, we saw a boat that day that we were on the pier yeah and they were and dolphins were behind yeah. it and it was yeah. not a pontoon boat it was yeah. Yeah. you know yeah. a big boat with motor big yeah. motors on it so in a, in a way i suppose you know that's probably <coughs> what we want there are no there are no it's not like sea world we see uh, orcas, there's no mm. whales there, you know, Mm-mm. but they do have sharks. Yes, they do. They do have a, a huge octopus, which is just an amazing thing to see up close. One, one of, uh, oh gosh, there's so many favorite things, but I wanted to tell you, um, there's one room where you sit in, and there's a, there is a, a piece of glass the size of a movie screen. It is so big, and there's a, a sample of the glass to show you how thick it is, and it's it's at least a foot thick. And from floor to ceiling too. There's nothing, it's, you know. It's unbelievable. It's floor to ceiling. It's humongous. And, and of course, as you can imagine, behind that glass is the biggest, most amazing fish tank you're ever going to see. It is wonderful. With with sharks and everything. I mean, I just couldn't believe it. And and the music that plays in that room is so ethereal. So mm-hmm. like it's like you're meditating when you're watching this thing. It's, and it's dark in the room, so it's bright in the in the fish tank mm-hmm. in front of you. It's just just an amazing. There were actually people swimming i guess having the close encounter experience yeah you can buy that that's extra how much was that do you know i don't know but anyway it was it was really fun and uh and we ate but i don't th- i don't think they served fish no i don't think so <laughs> i didn't see anything didn't like fish. that on the menu we had chicken and, and I, saw, chicken I i can tell you now that i you know you learn something new or you see something new every day saturday was the first day in my entire life i ever saw a shark poop <laughs> i never i missed that part i've seen that in my life but uh-huh. i saw it i was looking at it at the right time uh-huh <laughs> and this like was it like round or was it chunky or was it like just oh you didn't see it no no or was it like a big old no. flash of stuff or? it was a like a cloud yeah oh my gosh like a, oh my gosh i guess like bird duty underwater I guess. isn't that something <laughs> how cool i love the jellyfish i never knew there were so many kinds of jellyfish there and the coral was I, all alive. It, seahorses, it was beautiful. Do you know the the uh, jellyfish, by the way? I had never seen jellyfish in real life, as far as I know, except for maybe on the beach. And then they just look like yeah, the a, dead a blo- ones. A blob of jelly. <laughs> That's all I saw was yeah. the dead ones. It was amazing. And, and I learned that jellyfish have no brains, mm-hmm. and they have no blood, and they never age. Mm-hmm. So there you go. What yeah. kind of an animal is that? Don't tell me there's no God. <laughs> exactly. I, I, I swear, sometimes when I see God's creation, I think to myself, I bet you he has a blast making these things. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you he does. He's like, hey, you want, you want to make something that's going to really freak out the humans? Mm-hmm. We'll make something that has no brain, no blood, and never gets old. Yeah. <laughs> And the humans will be jealous because they'll want to find out how that works. <laughs> that they don't get old. Anyway, so I wanted to share that with you. And it was so wonderful. They have a huge play area for the children with the water spurting up and everything. And they have lockers there to put your stuff in if you want. And <laughs> a movie. It is absolutely, so, absolutely amazing. And on Mother's Day, uh, I know you were with your mom. You went to Salt Spring. Yep, yep. And we went to church and Sunday school, then Salt Springs. It was so nice, beautiful. Uh, and I took my friend Doug to see, and his mom has passed away, and so has my mom and and uh, my grandmother and my sister. So we went to the uh, the three graves of my sister, grandmother, and mother, and we went to the Gulf of Mexico, where Doug had spread his mother's ashes, and we put uh, roses. In the different locations, and he put a rose in the water for his mom. So it was kind of sweet. It was so nice you did that. And I, and, beautiful. And, I, and here's the thing. I did a video of it, but I did not want people to be sad watching the video. So I, I purposefully avoided any sad, syrupy music, you know? Mm-hmm. I just, I, and I didn't come across as sad when I narrated it. I, we, had, we went to Sonic and got some, some food. And mm-hmm. I, I truly, you know, when somebody dies, of course, it's sad. Um, all, all the people I've just referred to have been gone for a few years already. And that doesn't mean I don't miss them. But I'm going to tell you, 
and everybody who doesn't believe in God is going to hate this, but I absolutely believe that there's an afterlife. Mm-hmm. I don't know what it is. I don't know what it's like. And I'm not going to pretend I know any of that, but I absolutely believe it. And so I'm confident mm-hmm. that uh, they are okay. Mm-hmm. That they're okay. I don't know that they can see us or hear us. I don't know any of that stuff. I yeah. just, But I just believe that they're okay. So so there you go. That's, and I just, I just wanted to do that. I thought it would be fun to do. I thought it was very sweet of you. Very moving and touching of you to do that for yourself and for Doug. All right, let's look at some of these news items. You're invited to call in to talk about these things. We'll start local. There was a story out of Silver Spring Shores. At least two drivers early yesterday morning went to police and say, hey, somebody was shooting at my car. (gasps) Oh, my God. Uh, One car had seven bullet holes in it. The other one had at least two. Oh, my Um, God. This is on the 9000 block of Maricamp Road. Uh, so they don't have anybody arrested. Nobody was injured, thank goodness. Uh, thank God. But that is crazy. It's early, early in the morning, like one thirty in the morning or something like that. That is horrible. Yeah. Absolutely horrible. It's 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 absolutely disrespectful. It's nuts. They could have killed somebody. I hope they get the shooter or shooters. A power outage at Bush Gardens on Saturday got a couple of um, more than a couple of people <laughs> upset. <laughs> uh, Bush Gardens had no power, and they say a squirrel did it. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Look out for the squirrels. I bet you that squirrel's gone. <laughs> We've had stories like that, too, in other places. So the squirrel just, he probably vaporized. He was at the substation, and he <laughs> disappeared. <laughs> but, the, but the electricity disappeared also, and so mm-hmm. all the rides weren't working. Nothing was working. So if you went on Saturday, mm-hmm. you have... You can use that ticket anytime for a whole year. Nice. So Bush Garden says, oh, we're so sorry. We'll give you a, a pass anytime you want to come in. That's wonderful. I wonder if people were caught at the top of the roller coasters and they had to do massive I don't rescue. Know. Yeah, right, right. Uh, let's see. Um, in national news, the U.S. Embassy in Israel is set to be moved to Jerusalem officially from Tel Aviv today. Mm-hmm. As a ceremony, President Trump's national security advisor, John Bolton, called the controversial decision a recognition of reality. On ABC's This Week, Bolton said the move will make it easier to reach a peace agreement between Israel and the Palestinians. Mm-hmm. Um, senior Palestinian official Ahmad Majdalani called for a huge popular day of rage. Oh, that, that doesn't sound good. No, um, no. Israel is uh, bracing themselves for demonstrations. Palestinians seek East Jerusalem, including the walled old city, as the capital of their future state. Hmm. Their future state. Yeah, well, they yeah, I know. They have want a state that. Yet. I know. They need, I'm they with might. them. I think they should have a state. I'm not so sure about the whole Jerusalem thing, but why not? I mean, why can't they have a state? Mm-hmm. I, don't, I don't even understand that. Mm-hmm. I don't understand. It's beyond my understanding why there's not a... Anyway. Yeah, we have interviewed people that were born. They have a birth certificate from Palestine. Right. And and the physically where they were was is now called Israel. Mm-hmm. But that's yes. because they were born before 48. 19, right. 1940. Right. Exactly. This okay. week, Missouri Governor Eric Greitens will make history as the first sitting governor in the state to go on trial for a felony. Gosh. He admitted on January 10th that he cheated on his wife, but denied blackmailing the woman with a partially nude photograph. Okay. He was indicted February 2nd, uh, 22nd by a St. Louis grand jury on a felony invasion of privacy charge, which carries a maximum sentence of four years in prison. Hmm. And Missouri lawmakers say they have enough signatures to consider impeaching the Republican. We don't live in Missouri, so we're not up on this, but apparently lots of photos are circulating portending, is that the word portending? To be um, the the photo in question here. Mm -hmm. (laughs) My gosh. Well, if he did it, he he just needs to step down. (laughs) They are fun photos. Uh, His? Of of him half clothed or her half clothed? (laughs) Her. Oh, okay. There you go. (laughs) (laughs) He should just do the manly thing and step down. I mean, gosh, you do something wrong, you get caught. You know, just get out of there yourself. Don't don't sit there and pretend it never happened. 
Well, he's denying that he blackmailed her. He's he's admitting he cheated, but he's denying it. Black, blackmail's against the law. Cheating is not. Yeah, but if he's on trial for blackmailing, right? Well, that's what he's on trial for. Yeah, so he should step down. But he didn't admit to it. Oh, okay. that's why he's on trial. Okay, <laughs> we'll see what happens. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. Yeah. I mean, you That's say right. he should now step down it. if he admitted. He didn't admit. He he admitted having an affair. Uh huh. He did not admit to blackmailing. Blackmailing. Right. Well, maybe she'll get Stormy Daniels on her side and she'll win. Oh my gosh. <laughs> a Tesla sedan with a semi-autonomous autopilot feature. Semi-autonomous. Uh, rear-ended a fire department truck at 60 miles per hour on Friday. Oh, my gosh. Apparently without braking before impact. My gosh. But it's unknown if the autopilot feature was engaged, and information on what the driver may have told investigators about the crash likely won't be available before today. Ooh. Well, there you go. Yep. The cause of the evening crash involving a Tesla Model S and a fire department mechanic truck stopped at a red light was under investigation. So Gosh. that's going to be a, par- a problem. If we have self-driving mm-hmm. cars and you can engage the self-driving feature or not engage it, uh-huh. and you forget to engage it. Yeah, and then all of a sudden you're there with no hands or anything. Oh, I my don't God. Know. I, don't know. I don't think we're ready for this yet. No, no. People are stupid as it is. They don't need to be any stupider. They don't need to be any stupider. No, no. They don't need to be enabled to be stupider. A proposed sales tax increase in Northeast Florida <laughs> would need a special election, and that special election could cost a million dollars. Gee, why don't you wait till the regular election? Only, gee. They say only 20% of people show up for special elections. Yeah, exactly. 20% of the people. That's right, and the, pri- the primaries, too. So just wait till the regular general election and then you have your vote. NBC has rescued acclaimed but low-rated comedy Brooklyn Nine-Nine a day after Fox canceled the series. Sparking a fan outcry on social media, the cast and producers tweeted simultaneously about the news midnight Eastern Time Friday. NBC will announce its schedule... uh, uh, Sunday. I don't know if that happened already. And unveil it to advertisers on Monday... I think that's today. I'm not sure. They will unveil it at Radio City Music Hall. The series, wrapping up its fifth season on May 20th, will return Mm -hmm. for 13 new episodes, but likely won't resurface until early 2019. TV news is just not news. Yeah. Oh, my gosh. (laughs) TV shows making the news. Yeah, exactly. Used to be they would run fall through January and then have reruns all the way to the next fall, but now they like put new things from January to, to May and then from June to September and then September to December and you know, they keep it moving now. Uh let's see. Um after signing the nation's strictest abortion ban into law, Iowa Governor Kim Reynolds said there is still more work ahead. Uh, She said, we know that our work is not done, that we must continue to work together to change the hearts and minds, Reynolds said Saturday during the Iowa Faith and Freedom Coalition's annual event. She said, but I'll tell you, we're not slowing down. We're not going to stop. It's a fight worth fighting. Reynolds added that we are number one in the country when it comes to protecting life. I believe all innocent life is precious and sacred. And as governor, I pledge to you to do everything in my power to protect life. Thank you. The Life legislation requires doctors to conduct an abdominal ultrasound to test for a fetal heartbeat on any woman seeking an abortion and forbid performing one if a heartbeat is detected. Thank you. Thank you. They say the heart starts beating six weeks after conception. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no. I'm telling you, the, the life is an amazing thing. It is amazing, and if a, and also too, if a woman is wanting an abortion, then it should get you know if she knows who the the father is, and then that person should sign those papers too. 
I just, uh, abortion Adam, is murder. Adam Putnam is in the news. Uh, he, of course, wants to be our next governor. He, right now, is our agriculture commissioner. And he says if he is elected to be the next governor, he wants to boost vocational and technical education in Florida's schools. He feels that those students who do not pursue a four-year college degree should have an opportunity to get good jobs, and the best way to do that is to give them an opportunity to study one of the trades. Uh, Part of his proposal is to create apprenticeship programs for students and allow them to earn professional certification in trades while still in high school. Now, that is really a smart idea. Yeah. That is really... Everybody is not cut from the same cloth, as they say, right? Exactly. Everybody... College uh, you know, academic skills are not necessarily better or more valuable than than tech, uh, technical or... Well, technical is academic. What do I want to say here? Uh, well, no, we have... Um, vocational skills, that kind of thing. We have MTI, and that's where the students go that to learn a trade. So Marion County is you know, ahead of that curve. But I like his idea about having the students actually have hands-on throughout their high school year. That way they get a job, they get paid to do it and learn at the same time. Oh, yeah. That's wonderful. I wasn't shortchanging Ocala, by the way. I Mm -hmm. I know we have one, and I know we have a great one. And and I'm with the whole idea. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm with the whole idea. You know, when, when you are a young person trying to decide what you want to do with your life, and you say, you know, you know, what I really want to do. I want to fix airplanes. Mm-hmm. That's you, right. You know, and then they give you, a, and then you say, well, you have to have college for this. Okay, okay, no problem. And you have to have two more years of basically what you've been doing in high school. It's kind of wait, <laughs> yeah. what? Exactly. What? What? Exactly. So no, it's 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 ridiculous. You don't need to to redo high school in your first two years of college. You you should just move on to what you're gonna learn and study for. Chili's restaurant said customers' payment information was compromised in a data breach. Uh Uh-oh. On May 11th, they say they learned that some of their guests' payment card information from certain restaurants was compromised. The company made that announcement on Twitter, Mm -hmm. which is where everybody announces everything these days. Yep. Well, it's because everybody pays attention to it except me. I don't tweet. Well, we should look at the hottest tweets right now. We should do okay. this so you're on top. Because I, I don't think I really check Twitter a whole lot. Oh, okay. But you do it occasionally. You know how to do it. I you send them, but I don't do read that. a whole lot of them. Mm. All right. Chuck Knox, a longtime NFL coach who won 186 regular season games, died yesterday at the age of 86. According to a statement issued by the Seattle Seahawks, Knox's granddaughter, Lee Ann, originally announced the news on Twitter. There's another one. There you go. Knox reportedly was suffering from dementia and recently entered hospice care. Knox coached the Los Angeles Rams twice, Buffalo Bills and Seattle Seahawks during his 22 seasons as a head coach. His regular season record was one. Oh, I never know how to read these numbers. 186-147-1. One hundred eighty six dash one hundred forty seven dash one. And he went seven dash eleven in postseason play. Oh, okay. Are you supposed to say seven and eleven? Seven and eleven. Yep. Yeah, wins and losses and wins, loss and ties. I see I need to be educated on how to read sports news. I don't know how to read sports news. Well that's okay. Everybody can't be great at everything. But it seems like I should that should be an easy lesson. Yeah. If there's a dash. It's an and, yeah. <laughs> really? Unless it's a score. Yeah. <laughs> right. Then it's a two. Right. Yeah. This is my problem. <laughs> Thirty to nine. But there was three numbers in that last one. Yeah. Win, loss, and uh, wins, losses, and ties. See. So you, you know what? I'm giving them to you for now on. Oh. <laughs> I get a geez. sports story. <laughs> no, 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 no. You can do this. You can do. And, this. And I can do this. <laughs> You're really smart. You can do this. In a a a diametrically opposing reinvention of its policing strategy, the New York Police Department is moving away from the controversial stop and frisk that led to riots and antagonization of the men in blue to what it calls precision policing. Oh, okay. Uh, Chief of Department Terrence Monaghan told NBC News, he's the police chief, I've asked my cops, reach out to the people in the community that don't like you. Mm -hmm. The strategy is meant to rebuild the trust between law enforcement and citizens after a fracturing 
of an at times hostile standoff in recent years. I have told you what I think about this. You have. You have. Your words are ringing in my ears. Be, put the put the policemen on beats as you used to have them. Exactly. Don't have them in cars. A man or a woman, you know, who's regularly seen walking down that, that one, two, three block area mm-hmm. is going to become familiar with all the shop owners, going to become familiar with... When we were in Tampa, we saw two bicycle police officers stop at a pizza place yep to go get a bite to eat if those guys are always patrolling that area in their case on bicycle mm-hmm. then they everybody knows them in that neighborhood yeah and they stop to chat with them so that's the way it should be not just cars good morning you're on the air yes good morning guys and thank god for a little rain uh, most of this week i think we're in our rainy season now we are this week yeah <laughs> Good, because we need it. I was just going to mention real quick that I, I personally, we know personally a, a lot of people that went on to college and got their bachelor's degree in certain areas, and it had nothing to do where they ended up work, eventually working. I'm not saying that a college education isn't good. All education is better than no education, but as far as what they're doing in their life, it had nothing really to do with, with, uh, with college, and it's uh, they have probably been off there off going to some kind of a, a, a school and, and, and learning a, a trade or something. Oh yeah, and I think people mm-hmm. should be able. People should have the opportunity to pursue a trade if that's what they want. And I think that's what uh, Adam Putnam is suggesting. Yeah, right. I, you know, kind of like a, a personal example. Uh, my my son went to college uh, in Whitewater, Wisconsin, and he took up a business course, and it worked out for him because he's he's in banking, real successful at night. But he met his wife, and I know his wife because she even admitted that she went to college because she wanted to go to college to find a husband that had an education and it'd be a bright future. And of course. But they got married, and uh, she hasn't had to work a day in her life since they've been married. And I have three wonderful grandkids, and uh, it was successful for her because she found a husband that she wanted, but it had nothing to do with uh, getting a job later on. Yeah, yeah, well, good. Everybody's got their own life path, and, and we should give the kids an opportunity to pursue the one that they want, yeah. Yeah, I think basically what we're saying is there's a lot of people going to college that really shouldn't be going to college. Well, especially if they if they have no choice and, and to, to get what they want, mm-hmm. and they end up taking this long, long detour and end up doing what they want anyway, and expensive too, by the way. Hey, thank you, oh, Hugh. Very Appreciate your thoughts. All right, let's take a little break. We will be right back. And uh, Galen Unold is coming up next. I have a story that I did not read to you that I will read when he's on the air about the most prolific blood donor in the world who gave his last donation on Friday. The story includes some information about donating blood that I have questions about. After all these years of talking to Galen, I'm still not sure about some of these things. So we'll take a little break. We'll be right back. This is The Source, WOCA Ocala. Fox News Radio. I'm Chris Foster. At least 16 Palestinians are reported shot and killed by Israeli troops at the Gaza border. Among thousands there protesting as the United States Embassy moves today from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem. Although ambassadors from more than two dozen countries are going to attend this dedication ceremony, conspicuously absent this morning will be the representatives from Germany, France, and the UK. Those are countries that strongly disagree with President Trump's Mideast policy, specifically in this case, the recognition of Jerusalem as Israel's capital. Fox is David Lee Miller in Jerusalem. There's heavy rain and possible flooding in the forecast for Florida and the southeast. Strong to severe thunderstorms will develop along a boundary that extends from Texas up to the Great Lakes and out into the Mid-Atlantic. We could also see some large hail, damaging winds, and isolated tornadoes. Fox meteorologist Janice Dean. Fox News. We report. You decide. What is it, Linda? I think we should see other people. Are you breaking up with me on a roller coaster? Well, we do have a lot of fun. Maybe we should stay together. An emotional roller coaster? Surprising. What's not surprising? How much you could save by switching to GEICO. I just need a little me time. GEICO. 15 minutes could save you 15% or more. Posting your job opening to an online job search site is like drinking from a fire hose. You get more resumes than you know what to do with. 
Robert Half is the better way to hire. Our candidates are interviewed and custom matched to your exact hiring requirements. Quickly, satisfaction guaranteed. So what you need is just what you'll get. Robert Half, the experts in accounting, finance, IT, legal, marketing, and administrative staffing. Learn more at roberthalf.com slash radio. Get it for less at the DIY Home Center Outlet. Get top quality real wood cabinets the same or less than the big box stores are selling the cheap stuff. And that's not all. Drywall Screws big box stores are $6.47 a pound at DIY only $4.99. Plus DIY has the largest selection of mobile home parts and accessories anywhere. From carpet to doors, get the DIY supplies you need for less. The DIY Home Center Outlet. We are your building material closeout store. 2191 Northwest 10th Street, just two miles east of I-75. Each morning, we wake up thankful to live in a free nation with liberty and justice for all. But sometimes those liberties can be put in jeopardy, and you may have questions about what to do or who to call. Let Doc Blanchard of Blanchard, Miriam, Adele, and Kirkland help you find the answers. Attorneys at law since 1974 and located in downtown Ocala. If you have legal issues, don't go it alone. Call 352-732-7218. Blanchard, Miriam, Adele, and Kirkland. Helping protect your liberties every day. Here is your one-minute news brief from the source WOCA. The Marion County Sheriff's Office says that two drivers in Silver Spring Shores reported that someone fired a gun at their vehicles early yesterday. Neither victim sustained any injuries. Florida Governor Rick Scott is visiting Israel and will be on.